Typically in a domestic violence situation, if the police make an arrest and if the victim requests, the police will issue or get issued for that person an emergency protective order and that expires in just a couple days uh, when the person has their first court date. At that first court date, if charges are filed, it's within the purview of the district attorney whether there's going to be a new temporary restraining order issued. And then at the end of a case, if, if um, there's a conviction, there could be a, a, what they call a permanent restraining order, even though it's not permanent. It could be three, five, even 10 years. Um, there's also a corollary to that, which is in civil court. The person can on their own and with the help of the district attorney's office, bring restraining orders against the uh, person who is alleged to have committed the act of domestic violence. And those restraining orders uh, and all of the restraining orders call for either no contact at all or no force, threats, harassment, um, annoyance, uh, molestation, any bothering, things like that. Uh, they require staying 100 feet away. Uh, they eliminate firearm rights. They can affect child custody. They can affect dog custody or cat custody or other types of pets. Um, they can affect use of social media. Um, you're not allowed to use go-betweens. So if it's like, you know, you have a friend in common, you can't tell the friend to tell, you know, the, the protected uh, person, you know, hey, I said, whatever, even, hey, I said hello. Uh, so there are a lot of consequences that, that go along with this potentially.